I have to pee. Oh my God. My bladder needs to get herself in check right now. It's like 9 p.m. right now and I am only at the 3 p.m. mark. Is it normal to feel attached to your water bottle? Okay, we see you, water. Things are changing. So I have gone down a rabbit hole of watching videos of people drinking a gallon of water a day for a week. Now, if you're a very hydrated individual, this probably doesn't seem like a lot to you. However, I'm lucky if I consume like 18 fluid ounces a day. That's a little dramatic. I drink more than that. Actually, I'm, mm, I'm gonna say I drink more than that so that you guys don't get mad at me, but like, I don't drink a lot of water. <laughs> I hate it. Doesn't have a lot of flavor. It doesn't do much for me. It's just giving me cardboard. But water is important and we need it literally to function. So let's let the journey begin, I guess. It's day one. Okay, first, can I just say, this is massive, all right? I was like, you know what? This is gonna be a breeze, but seeing it actually filled up with the water, I'm very scared about it, absolutely. I already know I'm gonna be embarrassed bringing this into public places. I just feel like it's a little showy. It's just like, yes, um, I actually love my body. I really care about my health. I could see that you hate your body because you have an eight ounce water bottle. I don't know, it just gives me those vibes. I feel the hydration going into my body. Just kidding, I just feel nauseous actually because I drink <laughs> so much. I'm really interested to see where I'll be in a week. One thing's for sure, I will have a stronger bladder because I already know I'm gonna have to pee a lot. Luckily, I work from home so I can make constant trips to the bathroom. And speaking of working from home, I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite brands right now to wear, not just at home, but all over because it's so comfortable. Naywai is sponsoring today's video. I'm actually wearing one of their products right now. So Naywai is actually a lingerie and loungewear brand that really values the freedom and comfort of women. I mean, right now I feel pretty free and pretty comfortable. Right now I'm wearing their Barely Zero bra. So the Barely Zero bra is wireless, which obviously adds to the comfort. And with this bra, your size is the size. This was amazing news to me because one of my biggest struggles with bra shopping has always been my size. I never know what it is. The Barely Zero bras are made with cloud fit fabric, so these bras will adapt to a band size of 30 to 40 inches and a cup size from A to double D. When I was first discovering this product, I was like, you're telling me that I don't have to go through a bunch of sizes, like it's just gonna show up at my door, like it's just gonna adjust to me. I love that. I wish more things were like that in this world. Naywai also offers a really great selection of loungewear that is so, I keep saying comfortable, but I'm like, what is the other word? It's luxurious. It feels so special. Like when I wear their loungewear, I feel better about myself and I feel like I'm a luxurious girl. Like I just deserve better. I don't know what, what I'm referring to necessarily, but whatever it is, I deserve better of it. So to shop Naywai's products, you can actually use my code Bethany to get 20% off your first purchase. So definitely check it out, you will not regret it. I'm already on their website like trying to figure out what I want next because it's my go-to at this point and I just want more of it, so that's all. I'm over halfway through. Pretty impressed with myself. We still have a good amount to go. Also, I'm in my bathroom right now because I am organizing my makeup drawer. It's been very gross for a very long time, so I was like, we need to go through this today. All right, folks. We're almost this was difficult. I'm really hoping it gets easier in the next few days, but we have a little more, so I just want to do it on camera. Day one done. Hey, bestie, do you need a seatbelt? Because you are huge. If my hair is not a foot longer after this challenge, I'm gonna be upset. That's definitely not gonna happen. But you know what? I think I needed this challenge to remind me that I should be drinking at least more water a day than I have been. Anyway, so right now I'm going to the grocery store. I'm also really hoping that they have pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Last time I went to Trader Joe's, they were completely sold out of them. So I'm going to a different one today and fingers crossed that they have them. It doesn't really go along with like the health theme of this video. Whatever, I'll buy a, a carrot or something too. We did good today. Today was kind of hard because I feel like I didn't start really going at it until later in the day. And so then it was already like 8 p.m. and I was like, oh, we, we gotta, this is it. We gotta down it. There we go. Definitely going to space it out better tomorrow. I mean, technically there's a little bit left in here. One sec. 
There we go. Wow! It's midnight. I just took my makeup off. I'm about to go to bed. Only issue is I peed so much today. Like, too much. So definitely keep that in mind if you are thinking about doing this. You're gonna probably have to pee a lot. Also, is it normal to feel attached to your water bottle because I suddenly don't want to be without it? Like, I feel oddly attached. That's my update for the day. Right now, I am going to pick Dom up from the airport. He was just on a little trip. Okay, fit. We see you, Nay. Get it. Got my buddy. I feel like we need to name her at this point. Gloria. Love that. Cause she's glorious. I'm starting to get like very nervous whenever I leave the house because it's like I won't have to pee. Like I just went pee as I'm leaving and I'll feel fine. And then suddenly my bladder will be like, girl, we need to go. It's the price you pay for hydration, I guess. I have to pee! I have to pee already! Oh my god. My bladder needs to get herself in check right now. She needs to figure it out. I literally just went pee. Like, how does this happen? Not me having to stop at a Starbucks. This is too much. Maybe my bladder is just real weak, but like literally after 10 minutes, I was like, I gotta go. It's a little later in the day. I picked Dom up from the airport. This is where we're at. Not too bad, considering it is like 4.30 right now. So now I'm gonna go to the store because I need to grab a few household items. Not me Googling which Target near me is currently under construction because that is the one that their bathroom is currently not usable. You gotta plan ahead in situations like this because I'm literally still peeing constantly. Okay, this is so cute. I want it. Let's do a quick haul. I got this cute shower caddy, but I'm gonna use it for my cleaning supplies and just have like a cute little cleaning moment. I got boo bars for my dogs because they're Halloween themed. Get out of here. I got another one of my favorite makeup removers because I ran out. I run out of this so quickly and it's my favorite. Some Tree Hut body scrubs. So I discovered the Tree Hut body scrubs through TikTok and I'm obsessed with them. My legs are about to be real smooth. Laundry detergent, pretty boring. Boring. sleeping mask because I've been struggling to fall asleep recently and even when all the lights are off I'm just like it could be darker in here and I got some pretzels I feel like I can't go to a store without leaving with like a mandatory snack for the drive home oh by the way the water <laughs> I feel like I've drank a swimming pool today and we're not even finished ah! It's day four and I forgot to film all day today. It's like 9 p.m. right now and I am only at the 3 p.m. mark. I did have a really slow start though, so I feel like this should be fairly easy to finish before I go to bed, especially because I'm probably gonna be up pretty late tonight. I think I'm actually starting to like water more because of this experience, so who would have thought? Anyway, no major updates today. Um, I just had to pee a lot again. Also, I never updated you guys. Trader Joe's ended up having the pumpkin rolls. So I'm gonna make these right now because I've had them in my fridge for a few days and I'm just like, you know what? Tonight is the night. Oh my God, they are beautiful. Wow, 10 out of 10. This is what I needed. I'm gonna enjoy this and finish my water. Here is my little midday snack. I've been really obsessed with peaches recently. Don't know why. I mean, I've always liked peaches, but for the past month, it's been different. Like I want a peach every day. I want to eat one every day. And if I don't, I just don't enjoy my day quite as much. Right now I'm halfway through my water. I have started to notice that it's getting easier for me to finish the water earlier in the day compared to like when I first started. And if I don't drink any water for a little while, I find myself like wanting it, which is is really good because it was feeling very much like a chore in the beginning and like I kind of had to force myself whereas now it just feels like I actually want it more. Who am I? Like that is something I never thought I would say about water. Things are changing. Morning! I'm in the drive-thru getting coffee right now. I don't know if this is like because of the water, but I have low-key forgotten to get coffee like the past couple days, which is a big deal for me because I drink coffee every morning and so something's weird. But this morning I woke up and I was like, I haven't had coffee like for the past couple days. So here I am, but I also don't really feel like I need it. I'm kind of doing it as a ritual. <laughs> delicious. Also, I feel like my skin is getting clearer. I don't know. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I've been wearing makeup like I think in all my other 
clips I filmed, but okay, we see you water. I don't know, like I'm feeling good. Final day. Right now I am just doing some work on my computer, responding to some emails, editing some footage, and this is where we are. Let's do this. Listen, I'm resilient. I can handle it. I mean, at this point, it's pretty easy. I'm really noticing a difference in my skin. I don't know if that's related to the water, but I just had to say that because there's something happening here and I'm loving it. Whatever it is, I'm loving it. I'm here for it. We did it. I feel like a hydrated queen right now. Overall, I would say that I rate this experience like an eight out of 10. I would give it 10 out of 10 if it weren't for the constant bathroom breaks. Hate that. But other than that, like I feel very good. I know I already said this, but I really felt an increase in energy that felt a lot more natural versus versus when I drink coffee or energy drinks, and my skin. Once again, I don't know if this is because of the water, but I have noticed that my skin has had like more of a glow and a radiance to it. Also, I am very prone to headaches. Me and headaches are like this, like we are besties, and I haven't seen my bestie for a second. Like I really think that was a huge benefit from drinking water because I do know that obviously one of the main causes of headaches can be dehydration, and I just usually don't drink a lot of water. So drinking this much water a day, I haven't had a single headache, so that is amazing. I definitely wanna keep doing this, just don't like peeing all the time. So like maybe I'll do it a few days a week and then the other days of the week we'll keep it like normal. Bottom line, I'm gonna start drinking more water than I usually do. Anyways, that is it. Thank you for being on this journey with me. It was fun. And let me know what journey you wanna go on next together. Also, I love you. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And that's it, bye. And it's a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma, gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket, talking miser for the